Hello, this is Joe with Objective Technology. And then this video picks up where the last one left off, where we we uh, added our effects to this clip. We rendered it, saved it on our desktop. And in this part, we're going to show how to use iMovie to put put the final thing together. I'm going to save our Saber Effects file. Always make sure you do this. As a matter of fact, you should pretty much try and save often because um, it's a lot of work. You don't want to lose it. So I'm going to save this off. Do my part three. So now we're ready to move into iMovie so we can add our background music and sound effects and some transitions and titles. So this is the movie we rendered in Saber Effects, which has the effects we just did. Um, I only did a few frames in this one, so I'm actually not going to use that. Um, that's the one you would use, but I'm going to use this one that I already d finished, and this is the one from the video on the website that has all the effects in it. So we're going to go into iMovie. This is iMovie 11. We are going to create a new event just to hold our video, and I'm just going to call that Saber Effects Tutorial. Now I can right click on this and select import movies or I can use the file menu import movies I'm going to go to my desktop which has the one I want to use and import it so that'll bring the movie into iMovie so we can use it we're also going to create a new project I'm going to use no theme you can use a theme if you want but for this I'm not going to use a theme standard because we filmed in 4x3 so the first thing I need to do is take my clip here I want to select the whole thing you can drag this out or you can use uh, command A drag that up to here so now I just have this, this clip that's my movie I don't want to hear the audio from the actual recording I just want to hear the sound effects and the background music so I'm going to click on this little triangle here Go to audio adjustments and turn the volume down to zero. So we're gonna we want to add some sound effects, some background music, and some titles. So the first thing I want to do is I'm gonna change the scale. That makes this longer. It's gonna make it easier for me to drop in my sound effects. All right, so let's put some sound effects in. Now there are some sound effects built into iMovie. Um, if we go down here, go to iLife Sound Effects, down to Sci-Fi, a few things you can use. Um, this one here kind of sounds like a blaster, so I'm going to show you how to use these sounds. So what we do to add the sound effects is we click on the sound effect here, we hold the mouse down and drag it up. Now if you see the background here it goes green, that means we're adding a background sound or background music. So we want to be over the clip we're going to scroll through our clip until we find the spot where we want to place a sound effect. Now, in this case, I'm going to place it just as this blue bolt is coming out of this blaster. So I'm going to drag it to that spot and just drop. And here it gets inserted into the movie. And it's going to trigger exactly at that point. So we can go back and we can look at that. I'll show you that again. Right so that sound effect is firing at that, at that time. And it makes our special effects seem a lot more realistic when there's actually sound backing it up. If you search on the internet, you can find better sound effects. I just went to a free sound effect website and downloaded some, some sounds. So let me show you how to use them. These are not in iMovie. These are just sitting in a folder on my, on my computer. Um, so in order to use those sounds, what you do is you just click on these. Uh, click on one of these and drag it in just like you do with the built-in sound effects in iMovie. So I want to take this phaser here. So I'm going to just click on it and drag. Drag it over my iMovie. Now I'm watching. I'm going to find the spot where this blue blaster comes out again. Right there. I'm going to drop that sound effect right there. And I'm going to continue on. Here's another shot. So we put it there. So you're going to add these for each time that, that phaser or that blaster fires. So 
So I'm going to add that there. Find another one. There's one here. So I put that in there. And again. So let's so let's see how that sounds. Okay, so now we have a few more effects in there, a few more sound effects. Now we want to add some more some more sound effects. So when that blaster hits that saber and you have this the clash effect, we want to have a sound for that. So let me go back here. And we have a clash. So we're going to take that and drag it out and add that at that point in time right there. Now I have a couple clashes so I'm going to use a couple different sounds you don't want it all to be the same sound so for that one I'm going to take this one I'm going to find the next clash here drop that in I use this one again go back over here find another clash let me take this one so we have one here, add that there, all right there, so that fires again, so we put that there, and then let's go back and look at it again. All right, so that's basically how you're going to do your sound effects. You do your each time the blaster fires, you want to do the clashes, and any other effects you need, some humming for a lightsaber swinging around. Next we're going to do some background music. So I'm going to go up here. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to iTunes. And I have a couple John Williams pieces I got from the iTunes music store. Uh, the one on the website we use Duel of the Fates. Um, Imperial, I'm going to use Imperial March to be a little different here. Now we're going to drag that up here. And we want this click and drag, this song. We want this to come up, we want our background to turn green, which is saying that this is going to add this as a background track, as the background music. So I go up there and let go, and that puts our music in. I want the music to be a little lower in audio than the sound effects, so I'm going to turn that down. And so now we have our sound effects and our background music. So after that, we want to put some titles and transitions. So my movie has this title called Far, Far Away, which is actually the opening scene in the Star Wars movies. So this works great. So we're going to take that, gonna drag that out, put it before our, our clip. Choose a star background. And we can edit the title here. I'm just going to put a quick one on. I'm not going to edit all the text. So now we have this opening screen and I'm just going to throw on just to show you one more thing I'm going to throw a transition on you look down here we have this uh, circle open so let's just grab that one put that between our our opening title and our clip and then we can go and that's basically what you're going to do so that's basically finished now we want to share or save this movie so you can go to the share menu. So if you have a YouTube account, you can just go to YouTube here, and that will automatically upload it to your account. You can also send it to any of these other ones. I'm just going to save it as a movie. So I'm going to select Export Movie. So Saber Effects Finished. And I want it large, and I'm going to click the Export. So this is just going to render this off and save it on my desktop as a QuickTime movie. So now I have that finished. I can actually get Levi Movie. Now it's finished, it's on my desktop. I can take it to QuickTime Player and show you what the whole thing looks like. So that's how you would use iMovie to finish your Saber Effects projects.